Autumn Leaves by Ken Robbins. Autumn is a time to look closely at leaves. In spring and summer, the leaves on most trees are green, but in autumn, those green leaves turn different colors and fall to the ground. Some leaves just dry up and turn a dull brown, while others turn colors that are brilliant and bold. Orange, yellow, red, purple, and gold, painting the landscape and changing the world. Wow. The leaves of most trees are flat and thin. Most are connected to the tree by a stem. All leaves have veins. The veins of some leaves are quite easy to see. Some leaves are shiny, some are dull. Some have shapes that are simple, some have shapes that are not. Sometimes lots of leaflets make up a leaf. We got uh, my boy, Norm Wayne Mabel. Some are big, some are small. Some are narrow, some are wide. Some leaves are not the same on the right and left sides. Some have edges that are jagged or edges that are smooth. Leaves are different on each different tree. Look at them carefully and see what you see. Smoke tree. The smoke tree's leaves are shaped like paddles. The stalks of its flowers are so thin and fine that from a distance they look like smoke. Oh my gosh. Birch. The bark of the gray birch is white and smooth. It shines like silver when it catches the light. Birch leaves have jagged edges. Ginkgo. Ginkgo trees grew in prehistoric times. Dinosaurs once ate their uh, fan-shaped leaves. Linden. The leaves of the linden tree are rather large and shaped like hearts. Sassafras. Several different shapes of leaves can grow on the branch of one sassafras tree. Some even look like mittens. And if you scratch a stem, you can smell a particular smell. Sweet gum. The leaves of the sweet gum are almost shaped like stars. Hickory. There are compound leaves on the hickory tree. Five leaflets or more make up the leaf. Red oak. Red oak trees have pointed leaves. Oak trees come in many different forms, but they all make acorns in the fall. The uh, fern leaf beech. Uh, the fern leaf beech has smooth gray bark. Its leaves, when they're dry, look like question marks. I question the validity of that. Cherry. Cherries are the fruit of the cherry tree. Some are sour, some are sweet. Cherry tree leaves are shinier on one side than they are the other. Dogwood. The dogwood tree has beautiful flowers in the early spring. The pretty dogwood leaves are like ovals of plants. Yellow poplar. The yellow poplar is also called the tulip tree. The leaves look like a little look a little like the tulip flower. The maple. Maple trees often have the brightest and most colorful leaves of all the trees in the fall. Should we get that? <laughs> you, you can 
Christ. Oh, we can just cut it. Out. Maple. Maple trees often have the brightest and the most colorful leaves of all the trees in the fall. Green leaves make food out of something as slight as carbon dioxide and water and light. Green leaves make a kind of sugar to help trees grow. It's made from water and light and a part of the air called carbon dioxide. There's a proper word for this. Photosynthesis. There are special scientific words for chemicals that give leaves their color. It's chlorophyll that makes them green. It's ye the yellow is from xanthophyll. The orange is from carotene. The reds and purples are anthocyanin, and brown is a result of something called tannin. When photosynthesis stops in fall, the green part of the leaves dries up and dies. Then we start seeing the amazing colors, the yellows and golds, that were there all the time. And sometimes a bit of the sugar gets left in the leaf when it dies. That turns the leaf purple red for a while. Sooner or later, all those colors fade to brown. Eventually, the base of the stem where the leaf is attached to the tree goes brittle. Then, when the wind blows a even a little, the leaf breaks off and flutters through the air to the ground. Before you know it, all the leaves are down and the trees are bare.